what is going on YouTube it's a boy Blicky Baki and in today's video I will be giving you some information and I will also be showing you how to assemble your E3 flasher if you buy it brand new so let's go ahead and get started okay guys so the E3 flasher will only work on Nord PS3 and it will only work for fat PS3 that are Nord and it will only work for slim PS3 from 2000 go all the way up to 2500 models but the 2500 models those are a little bit tricky so you have to check the PS3 firmware to see what's the lowest it can downgrade to I will leave a link in the video description so you guys can check out that one how to identify your PS3 if it's a NOR or a NAN and also I leave another link in the description um, showing you how I check my PS3 firmware what's the lowest it can downgrade to so what you want to do is start that video off from 2 minutes go all the way up to 3 minutes and 49 seconds again the video will be in the description how I check my PS3 firmware okay I use Miniver check to check my PS3 firmware so just start that video from the 2 minute mark go all the way up to 3 minutes and 49 seconds okay so that's just 1 minute and 49 seconds you guys gonna watch the video for alright hope you guys understand that so let's go ahead and open up the box um, this is not the first time I'm opening this um, I got like three of these I believe so yours will look something like this um, yours will be a lot neater than this okay so this is the ribbon clip you want to take extra careful of this clip um, you don't want to go ahead and pinch it when you're using it also a link will be in the description how I downgrade my PS3 using the E3 flasher so make sure that you, you guys take special care of this do not pinch it you know when you're downgrading your PS3 or anything do not pinch this try your best to keep this um, unpinched okay so this is the ribbon cable and this is the face plate for that connects to the board as you can see it has some buttons on the front and also it has the card reader right here so this is where your SD card should go when you are going to read the NOR and also when you're going to write the NOR back okay and at the back of it you can see that we have some connections right here so let's go ahead and take the other part out. Um, this piece right here, this is for more of an advanced user if you're going to use like hardwire and all of that stuff. So this is more for um, hard advanced user, okay? So we are going to focus on this piece right here, okay? so this is the E3 flash up board and all we have to do is con line up these this port with the pins once you line it up you're gonna press it down and it's gonna be connected let me show you what it's gonna look like it's gonna look like this so this is my other E3 flasher okay so just line up the pins with this piece with the face plate and just gently push it down and it will be connected that is all you have to do all you have to do right there so once you have it connected you will want to set your pins on this section right here as I said the video will be in the description so check so make sure you guys check it out okay so adjust your pins to whatever you're going to do make sure that your SD card is formatted to FAT32 and that's it you're good to go from right there so to assemble it guys as I said to assemble it's very easy just get the face plate and get the, the flasher board and all you have to do is line up these pins and gently push it down once you push it down it's gonna look like this right here okay so that's all you have to do to assemble the E3 flasher that's it 
and what you can do you can like put a piece of tape right here put a piece of tape over this so it stay protective and you can put a piece of tape around these part as well just to keep it protective you know you don't want to be putting the e3 flasher on like coins silver nails and all of that stuff so make sure that you put a piece of tape right here, over here over this chip and you can put a piece of tape surrounding this right here you can also put tape across here just to keep it secure you can also put tape down here if you want also you can put tape here here and around this chip at the back and that's it as I said guys the E3 flasher will downgrade any PS3 slim from 2000 to all the way up to 2500 but the 2500 models those are a little bit tricky so you have to check the firmware what's the lowest it can downgrade to as I said a video link will be in the description so make sure you guys check it out all you have to do is watch that start the video from the 2 minute mark go all the way up to the 3 minute and 49 seconds and it will show you it will show you guys how I checked my PS3 firmware okay so I hope this um, video help you guys out also there will be links in the video description how to identify your PS3 as I said if your PS3 is a NOR or if it's a non PS3 so this will only work for NOR PS3 okay that's why you have it on the box right here you know E3 NOR flasher because it only support NOR this will not work for 4000 models and it will not work on um, 3000 models okay so make sure you guys keep that in mind so that's it guys hope you guys like the video please leave a thumbs up share the video and you guys can also subscribe for more video to come so thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video